Six, the I team is looking at potential changes that could be coming to Connecticut's Good Samaritan law. A state representative says she wants to better protect those who help others. This after a veteran was charged with assault after coming to her defense during an attack. Our chief investigative reporter Sam Smink has been looking into this. She's here right now with more. Sam. Mark Aaron, Representative Miriam Khan says Sergeant Jason Spencer, a veteran, should not have been punished for jumping in to help her while she was being attacked last summer following a Muslim prayer service. She wants the legislature to look at changing the law she feels should have protected him. When State Representative Khan was attacked outside the XL Center last summer, one man came to her aid, Sergeant Jason Spencer. Mr. Spencer was actually down the block hearing her cries, and he ran top speed down the block to save her. Police say Andre Desmond grabbed the representative and tried to kiss her. Spencer held down Desmond until police arrived. If I see someone needing help, I have to intervene. And I feel all citizens should do that. We should always look out for each other. Desmond was charged with attempted sexual assault and strangulation, but Spencer was also arrested and charged with third degree assault. It is unfair that someone that assisted a woman being attacked is having to defend himself in our system. Representative Khan wants to see if changes in the Good Samaritan law can prevent that. What is Connecticut's Good Samaritan law? Channel 3 legal expert Eric Parker explains. It applies to things like CPR. In more recent years, they've added things like Narcan. So if somebody's having an opioid reaction and someone tries to administer Narcan and it fails, there's not a big concern that you know, they're going to get have some civil liability and be sued. Parker says that although it appears Spencer's intentions were good, changing the law could cause more chaos. It's such a slippery slope of, uh, you know, when does it go from, you know, he pushed the guy to get him away from someone he was attacking to just unnecessary force or giving people a license to, um, to, to attack someone else under the guise of helping a third party. Representative Khan says she has only just started having conversations about this. She says she just doesn't want people to be deterred from helping others. Last week, prosecutors offered Spencer a chance for his case to be dismissed if he completes a diversion program. Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Sam